Chapter 24 Rural and Urban Development Development is a continuous process in which qualitative and quantitative changes are brought so as to bring economic betterment in future. In development, all facets of human life are considered such as economic, social, political, cultural, environment and technological. Rural development. Rural development means overall improvement of quality of life for rural people. It is about reduction of poverty, increasing productivity, providing basic services like health, education, drinking water, sanitation, extending infrastructure, attempt to reverse distorted land distribution and ownership and host of other aspects, redressing inequality, exploitation and deprivation in any conceivable sense. Rural development has traditionally uh, centered on the exploitation of land-intensive natural resources such as agriculture and forestry. According to Robert Chambers, rural development is a strategy to enable a specific group of people, poor, rural, women and men, to gain for themselves and their children more of what they want and need. According to IBRD, rural development is a strategy designed to improve the economic and social life of a specific group of people, the rural poor. It involves extending the benefits of development to the poorest among those who seek a livelihood in the rural areas. The group includes small-scale farmers, tenants, and the landless. Need of rural development to provide basic needs like elementary education, health care, clean drinking water and rural roads, etc. To improve the living standards by providing food, shelter, clothing, employment and education. To increase productivity in rural areas and reduce poverty. Rural and urban development to involve people in planning and development through their participation in decision making and through decentralization of administration to ensure distributive justice and equalization of opportunities in the society. Objectives of rural development providing goods and services in terms of social and economic infrastructure increasing the income of every rural family on a self-sustaining basis creation of additional employment opportunities in rural areas it implies a broad uh, broad based re reorganization and mobilization of the rural masses so as to enhance their capacity to cope effectively with the daily task of their lives and with changes consequent upon this improvement of services or rural masses in the process improvement of know how which is to be implemented to into implemented for their development to make available and improve the distribution of life sustaining goods such as food clothes shelter health and security to raise per capita purchasing power and improve its distribution by providing better education productive and remunerative jobs and cultural amenities to expand the range of economic and social choices to individuals by freeing them from servitude and dependence. Rural people must have the access to sound health care facilities and also social security. In absence of this, rural development can hardly be achieved. Creating job opportunities for the rural people to live a better life. Areas of rural development. Agriculture work. Agriculture is still the major source of livelihood in the rural areas. 15% of income of the country comes from agriculture. More than two-thirds of India's population depends on it. So the development of agriculture will contribute to the betterment of rural areas and rural people. Rural industry. Rural industrialization means focus on promoting the rural-based industries by involving local people, resources and expertise or exploring new business. In rural areas, the business based on agriculture, forest and handloom industries can be established. The development of rural industry will contribute to the betterment of rural areas and rural people. Social work. 
it is an important area of rural development this may include education health services water electricity cleanliness etc development of social services in rural area and decreases the problem of poverty and unemployment infrastructure development fourth and important development is infrastructure development it includes transport banking insurance government institute institutes institutions such as and panchayati raj institutions without development of infrastructure villages of countries cannot develop issues or challenges in rural development there are many issues with rural development in india though the government is spending a lot still there is a lot to achieve the challenges are as follows roads many of the rural communities are isolated by distance bad road conditions lack of or uh, broken bridges and inadequate transport these conditions make it difficult for the rural people to get their goods to the market to handle health emergencies to send children to school to obtain public services etc electricity not all electrified villages are getting quality power and it is estimated that nearly 33% of the population may be facing under electrification water the health burden of poor water quality is enormous it is estimated that around 37.7 million indians are affected by water borne disease annually 1.5 million children are estimated to die of diarrhea alone and 73 million working days are lost due to water borne disease each year the problems of uh, chemical contamination is also prevalent in india the major chemical parameters of concern are flu uh, flu right uh, fluoride and arsenic iron is also emerging as a major problem with many habitations showing excess iron in the water samples rural people are affected by poor water quality education and literacy particularly among women the low female literacy rate has had a dramatically negative impact on family planning and population stabilization efforts in india studies have indicated that female literacy is a strong predictor of the use of contraception among married indian couples even when women do not otherwise have economic independence poverty according to india rural development report which is endorsed by the government 7% of the rural populations is very poor villages in eastern indian states are the worst affected unemployment is a big problem in rural india youth migrate in search of better employment in urban areas agriculture land remains the same but population is growing with the advancement of civilization machines with modern technologies have been introduced further leading to unemployment migration to urban economic factors such as lack of income generating opportunities in rural sector urban job opportunities etc and social factors like health education lack of available infrastructure etc are some of the major factors for migration in rural india sanitation and health lower number of toilets water stagnation non awareness poor drinking water quality etc in rural india are the major problems infrastructure there is a lack of infrastructure in rural areas infrastructure development like electricity irrigation credit marketing transport facilities etc needs to be addressed health facilities rural areas lack proper health facilities better health facilities are necessary for physical growth productive resources productive resources of each locality need to be developed to enhance employment opportunities it will help in diversification of production activity with a view of finding alternative means of sustaining living other than crop cultivation human resources there is a need to improve the quality of human resource resource in rural areas it can be done by improving the literacy rate especially female literacy skill development or industrial training etc rural development programs for uplifting 
the rural sector of our country, the government of India has implemented various programs and schemes. The major programs are discussed as follows. Poverty Education Programs The main objective of the programs has been to remove poverty of the rural people by addressing issues such as food, health, skill development, etc. The major programs under this section are Dindayal Upadhyay Adhyaya Yojana Rural Area. Union Government on 25th September 2014 launched Dindayal Upadhyay Adhyaya Yojana for urban and rural poor. The rural, the rural component named as Dindayal Upadhyay Gramin a Gramin Kausal Yojana will be implemented by the Union Ministry of Rural Development. Features of the program are the government has identified seven countries where demand is high and where Indian rural youth can be absorbed after they acquire industry specific skills under the public private partnership PPP mode. The Rural Development Ministry estimates that. By 2020, de developed countries will have a shortfall of over 57 million semi-skilled workers while India is expected to have a surplus of 47 million. National Food Security Scheme The scheme was launched in 2013. Its aim was to provide subdivided food grains to approximately two-thirds of India's 1.2 billion people. National Rural Health Mission NRHM. The NRHM which provides an overarching umbrella to the existing health and family welfare programs was launched in 2005 to improve accessibility to quality health care for the rural population, bridge gaps in health care, facilitate decentralized planning in the health sector and bring about intersectoral convergence. The NRHM is also about the health sector reform, the architectural correction envisaged under NHRM is organized around five pillars, each of which is made up of a number of overlapping core strategies. These pillars are increasing participation and ownership by the community, improved management capacity, flexible financing, innovations in human resources development for the health sector, setting of standards and norms with monitoring, unemployment eradication programs. Unemployment is the major problem of rural areas. Unemployment eradication programs are launched in India from time to time. The major programs considered under this section are Ajivika Gramin Express Yojana. The Government of India has launched Ajivika Gramin Express Yojana AGUI in August 2017 to provide an alternative source of livelihood to members of self-help groups SHGS. This scheme has been launched under Din Dayal Anudaya Yojana National Rural Livelihood Mission DAY NRLM. The main objective AGUI is to provide an Alternative source of a source of livelihood to members of SHGS under the NRLM by facilitating them to operate public transport services in backward rural areas. National Rural Livelihood Mission. It was started on 3rd June 2011. The Swarna Jwanti Gramin Yojana AGSY has been re restructured and launched as the National Rural Livelihood Mission NRLM. It was recently renamed as Ajivika. The key features of Ajivika are as follows. It will ensure that at least one, num one member, preferably a woman, from each identified poor rural household is brought under a self-help group SHG NRLM focuses on setting up and strengthening of institutions of the poor in part partnership mode. Poor will be provided with the adequate skills to manage their institutions and existing livelihoods. Livelihoods NRLM would work towards universal financial inclusion. Funding would be in the ratio of 75 is to 25 between center and states. 90 to 10 for northeast and special category states. It will be implemented in phases to reach all districts of the country by the end of 12th plan. All states have to switch to NRLM from AGSY within one year of launch. M M G N R E G A Mandrega <coughs> National Rural Employment Guarantee Act <coughs> Narega N R E G A was enacted in 2005. It was implemented in three phases 
starting with 200 districts on 2nd February 2006 to cover the whole country by 2008. On 2nd October 2009, it was renamed as Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Act, Manrega. <coughs> India's Rural Employment Guarantee Program, Manrega, has been ranked as the world's largest public work program. The features of Manrega are as follows. It uh, seeks to provide at least 100 days, 150 days for drivers of guaranteed awake employment in one financial year to at least one adult member of every rural household who volunteers to do unskilled manual work. At least 33% of the beneficiaries are to be women. Other is mandatory for Manrega. Originally, it, it promised a wake rate of 100 per day from January 2011 wakes have been linked to the link to increase with consumer price index for agricultural labor CPIAL for each state it focuses on works related to water conservation drought proofing and land development flood control rural uh, connectivity through all weather roads etc It provides time-bound employment guarantee and a wage payment within 15 days. A 60 to 40 wage to material ratio has to be maintained to ensure greater employment generation. No contractor or machinery is allowed for any work. Panchayats have been given an important role through uh, preparation of Perspective plan, approval of self, uh, self of projects and execution of work at least to the extent of 50% in terms of cost. Swanajwanti Gram Sarojgar Yojana. This scheme was launched in April 1999 after re restructuring the Integrated Rural Development Program, IRDP and Allied Program. It is a self-employment program for the rural poor. The objectives of SGSY is to bring assisted swar Swarojgaris above the poverty line by providing them income generating assets through bank credit and government subsidy. The allocation of funds under SGSY is on the basis of existing below poverty line BPL families in the districts. The scheme was merged with Mandrika in 2008. It replaced development of women and ch children in rural areas. DWCRA Ganga Kalyan Yojana 1997 Million Wales Scheme 1989 and Supply Improved Tools Kits to Rural uh, Artisans 1992 Inequality Eradication Program IEP Economic and Social Inequality is a major problem in rural areas. Inequality is the result of differences in individual endowments. Programs started by government under this category are Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana Gramin PMAYG PM Narendra Modi launched the scheme on 20th November 2016 at Agra. The old name of the scheme was Indra Awas Yojana. Aim of the scheme is to contract 1 crore pakka houses in rural areas in next 3 years by providing financial assistance. Under this scheme, following financial benefit will be given according to the location. Plan A, Plain Areas 1,20,000 hilly areas, 1,30,000. Along with this financial assistance, every beneficiary will be offered 90 to 95 days employment under Mandrega, a sum of 1,200, 12,000. A sum of 12,000 will also be offered to construct toilets. Financial assistance will be transferred directly to bank or post office accounts of beneficiary. The minimum space for the house has been set at 25 square meter. Seva Prashad Mukherjee Rarvan Mission SPMRM The SPMRM is a new initiative from the Modi government that aims to set up 300 rural clusters by 2020. It was formally 
launched on 16th August 2015 by the Union Cabinet PM Narendra Modi launched this scheme as National Rural Mission on 22nd February 2016 the scheme of providing urban amenities in rural areas PURA is merged with Shima Prasad Mukherjee Rural Mission it is based on the example of Gujarat that has demonstrated successfully the rural development model of urbanization of the rural areas through which people living in the rural areas can get efficient civic infrastructure and associate services it was proposed in the budget speech of 2014 to 15 the benefits of rural mission are as follows under this scheme the facility facilities of cities will be will be given to villages electricity water roads and health facilities will be provided to villages the village uh, villages will be developed on the lines of the class Cluster. population in a cluster will be 21000 to 50000 30% of total expenditure on center gap funding will be from budget dindayal upadhyay gram yoti yojana d d d e g j y it was launched on 25th july 2015 it replaced the existing rajiv gandhi gramin vidyutikaran yojana rggpy this scheme is one of the flagship program and will facilitate 24 into 7 supply of power this scheme will help in providing round the clock power to rural households and adequate power to agricultural consumers sansad adars gram yojana is a gy it is a rural development and a cleanness program broadly focusing upon the development in the villages which includes social development cultural development and spread motivation among the people on social mobilization of the villages community the program was launched by the prime minister on the birth anniversary of jay prakash narayan on 11th october 2014 under it his member of parliament mp will take the responsibility of developing physical and institutional infrastructure in one village by 2016 and two uh, more by 2019 and make them model villages prime minister narendra modi modi adapt, adapted jaipur village under this scheme nirmal bharat nirmal bharat abhiyan nba in 2012 the center launched national sanitation uh, campaign titled nirmal bharat abhiyan the campaign aims to uh, aims to provide 100% access to toilets in rural households by 2020 sojal dhara yojana sdy it was launched on 25th december, december 2002 it aims to provide safe drinking water in rural areas Fine. funding would be in the ratio of 90 to 10 between center and states pradhan mantri gram sadak yojana pm gsy The PM GSY was launched in December 2000, 2000 as a fully funded central sponsor scheme with the objective of providing connectivity to the eligible unconnected uh, habitations in the core network with a population of 500 persons and above as per census 2001 in plains areas and 250 persons and above in hill states, uh, states tribal areas and desert areas the government has revised its target year for completion of phase 1 of pm gsy in rural road scheme to 2019 from 2022 appraisal of rural development programs and policies ardpp many government policies and programs for rural development have achieved success as is discussed below all policies related to rural development were important like irdp rural self employment scheme national rural employment scheme etc government has given special attention to these programs mandrika has been instrumental and a guiding factor for the uh, tackle, tackling rural poverty and unemployment by providing employment to the rural poor and unskilled people it has generated 267.96 crore persons day days during 2018 to 19 under pradhan mantri awas yojana gramin pmayg 1.54 crore houses were complete, completed due, including those carried over from indra awas yojana through convergence of government initiatives like 
पाइप्ड ड्रिंकिंग वाटर टॉयलेट्स अंडर स्वच्छ भारत मिशन मनरेगा इलेक्ट्रिसिटी कनेक्शन अंडर सौभाग्य प्रोग्राम एलपीजी कनेक्शन अंडर उज्जवला प्रोग्राम ड्यूरिंग 2014 टू 19 सिंस 2014 थाउजेंड अराउंड वन लैख नाइन्टी थाउजेंड किलोमीटर ऑफ रूरल रोड्स हैज बीन कंस्ट्रक्टेड अंडर प्रधानमंत्री ग्राम सड़क योजना पी एम जी एस वाई रेट ऑफ रूरल रोड कंस्ट्रक्शन किलोमीटर ऑफ रूरल रोड कंस्ट्रक्टेड पर डे शोज एन इंक्रीज मोमेंटम फ्रॉम टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन टू सिक्सटीन ऑनवर्ड्स अंडर द संसद आदर्श ग्राम स्कीम द स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ लिविंग इन द विलेज वॉज इम्प्रूव टू अ ग्रेट एक्सटेंड अर्बन डेवलपमेंट एन एरिया वेयर पॉपुलेशन डेंसिटी इज मोर विथ हाई क्वालिटी ऑफ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एंड प्लान एस्टेब्लिशमेंट ऑफ टाउन इज नोन एज एन अर्बन एरिया The elevation and development of urban areas start with the process of urbanization. It involves a gradual, progressive concentration of people and activities in towns and cities, increasing their spatial center and scale of scale of settlements. It also improve involves a change in nature of economic activities from primary to secondary and tertiary sector. There is. a change in social psychological and behavioral patterns of the people over time as they adopt a new urban way of life urbanization neither always take the same form nor does uh, does it progress at the same rate everywhere in the world every country has its own patterns and trends of urbanization reasons for urban development towns like villages must uh, possess basic requirement like water and food supply supplies shelter etc which make settlement possible however this does not mean that all villages develop into towns following factors are responsible for growth of urban areas surplus resources man's ability to extract resources is the primary condition for growth of urban areas industrialization and commercialization establishment of manufacturing plants and industries led to migration of people from rural areas to cities the development of modern marketing institu- institutions and of methods of exchange has greatly contributed to growth of cities development of transport and communication and the development of transport and communication network helps in urban growth as it makes commu- uh, commuting easier and st- uh, strengthens connectivity economic pool of the city cities provide a number of opportunities to earn livelihood and raise standard of living availability of basic public facilities availability of basic public services like health facilities education centers help in growth of urban areas challenges in urban development overcrowding overcrowding is a situation in which too many people live in too little space overcrowding is a logical consequences of pop- overpopulation in urban areas it it is naturally expected that cities having a large size of population uh, squeezed in a small spell, uh, space must suffer from overcrowding it is a leading challenge in urban development unemployment mm-hmm. ar- under uh, okay, urban and unemployment in india is estimated at 15 to 25 percent of the labor force this percent percentage is even higher among the educated people urban areas could not create enough employment opportunities and absorb the rapid growth of the urban labor force urban crimes the problem of crimes increase uh, increase with the increase in urbanization in fact the increasing trend in urban crimes tend to offset peace and tranquility of the cities and make them insecure to live in mainly for the women water water is one of the most essential elements of nature to maintain life however supply of water started falling short of demand as the cities grew in size and number transport urbanization poses major challenges to transport system with traffic blockages almost all cities and towns of india are suffering from severe from the severe form of transport problem transport problem increases and becomes more complex as the town grows in 
dimensions shortage of electric uh, electric power a very serious problem facing the entire country is the acute shortage of electric power both in urban and rural areas this can be solved only by generating much more electricity that than at present housing the most important problem in all cities has been housing and the sudden and large scale influx of migrants from rural areas to urban areas especially the metropolis metro polices and state capitals has, has contributed towards this problem due to lack of housing in every city almost 50% population live in slums slums are actually leg, uh, illegally uh, created colonize of housing on open uh, spaces in the cities schemes of urban development about 30% of indian population resides in urban areas rapid urbanization is associated with economic progress however urban areas are also facing issues pertaining to socio economic front such as unemployment housing facilities in along with sanitation transport health and education to augment the quality of life especially among urban poor in urban areas ministry of urban development has started many programs many uh, programs poverty eradication programs pradhan mantri garib kalyan yojana pmgky this this scheme was launched by prime minister narendra modi on december 2016 the scheme provides an opportunity to declare un unaccounted wealth and black money in a confidential manner and avoid uh, prose prosecution after paying a fine of 50% on undisclosed income an additional 25% of undisclosed income is invested in the scheme which can be refunded after 4 years without any interest the revenue received from the, uh, this scheme is used for the upliftment and betterment of the poor pradhan mantri awas yojana 2022 it is a new integrated national housing mission launched in june 2015 by merging upa flexi scheme and rajiv awas yojana where wherein more than 2 crore home, uh, homes would be built across all the urban locations in the next 7 years the scheme also recommended to increase interest uh, sub Vincent to six point five percent on housing loan for economically weaker sections of society, women, SCSTs, and people from economically weaker sections (EWS) would be the main beneficiaries of this urban housing project. There are four components to the national urban housing mission: redevelopment plan of slums, affordable housing through credit-linked subsidy scheme, affordable housing in partnership with private and public sectors, subsidy for individual beneficiary-led construction or enhancement of houses. Atal Pension Yojana the Atal Pension Yojana APY was launched in May 2015 it focuses on all citizens in the unorganized sector who join the national pension system NPS administered by the Pension Fund Regulatory and Development Authority PFRDA and who are not members of any statutory social security scheme the highlights of the scheme are as follows the minimum age of joining apy is 18 years and maximum age is 40 years therefore minimum period of contribution by the subs subscriber under apy would be 20 years or more the scheme is mainly targeted at unorganized sector workers all bank account holders under the eligible category may join apy with auto debit facility to accounts leading to a reduction in contribution collection charges din dayal upadhyay andodaya yojana urban the din dayal upadhyay andodaya yojana day for urban areas extend the coverage to all the 4041 statutory cities and towns thereby covering almost the entire urban population currently all the urban poverty alleviating programs covered only 790 towns and cities 
features of the program imparting skills with an expenditure of 15,000 to 18,000 on each urban poor, promotion of self-employment through setting up individual micro-enterprises and group enterprises with interest subsidy for individual projects costing 2 lakhs and 10 lakhs for group enterprises. Subsidies interest rate will be 7%. Training urban poor to meet the huge demand for, uh, from urban uh, citizens by imparting market-oriented skills through city livelihood centers. Each center would be given a capital grant of 10 lakh, enabling urban poor to form self-help groups for meeting financial and social needs with the support of 10,000 per group who would in turn be helped with bank linkages, development of vendor markets besides promotion of skills of vendors, construction of permanent permanent shelters for urban homeless and provision of other essential services. Pradhan Mantri Jandhan Yojana The Pradhan Mantri Jandhan Yojana PMJ, PMJ DY launched by Prime Minister Narendra Modi on August 28, 2014 was recognized for op opening the most bank accounts of about 12 crore in one week as part of the financial inclusion campaign. Accidental insurance of 2 lakh in available to all rupee card holders in the age group of 18 to 17 years where rupee card need to be used once in 45 days of receipt. An overdraft facility up to 10,000 is also available after six months of successful operation of account. Schemes for eradication of unemployment, Pradhan Mantri Kausal Vikas Yojana. It is, uh, it is a demand-driven uh, reward-based skill training sc uh, scheme, PM. KVY is formed to provide skill training to a class 10 and 12 dropout youths across the country. Under the scheme, besides assigning and certifying 10 lakh youth for the skills they already possess, around 24 lakh youth will be skilled over the next year. The important characteristics of PMKVY are as follows. It will cover 25 lakh persons and skill training would be based on the National Skill Qualification Framework NSQF and industry-led standards. <laughs> It will be implemented by the Union Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship through the National Skill Development Corporation NSDC Training Partners. In addition, center and state government affiliated training providers would also be used for training purposes. Skill training would be on the basis of skill gap studies conducted by the NSDC for the period 13-17. Focus of the training would be on improved uh, uh, curricula, curricula, better pedagogy, and better tra uh, trained inst instructors. Training would include soft skills, personal grooming, behavioral change for ch uh, cleanliness, good work ethics. A monetary reward will be given to trainers, <coughs> trainees on assessment and certification by third-party assessment bodies, the average monetary reward would be around 8,000 per trainee. It would be noted that the target for skilling would be associated with the recent programs such as Make in India, Digital India, Swachh Bharat Avian and National Solar Mission, Pradhan Mantri Mudra Yojana. Micro Units Development and Refinance Agency Bank, Mudra Bank, was launched by Prime Minister Narendra Modi on 8th April 2015. It is a public sector financial institution in India. It provides loan at low rates to small entrepreneurs. Mudra Bank was set up through a statutory enactment, it will be responsible for developing and refinancing all microfinance institu institutions MFIS, which are in the business of la uh, lending to micro and small business entities engaged in manufacturing, uh, trading, and services activities. Mudra Bank has rightly classified the borrowers into three segments shishu covered loans up to 50000 kishore covered loans above 50000 and up, up to 5 lakh tarun covered loans over 5 lakh and up to 10 lakh or mudra cards are the unique feature of this scheme the card permits access to working capital through atm and card machines 
Swachh Bharat Avyan. Swachh Bharat Avyan was launched on 2nd October 2014 by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. It is a national campaign to clean the state's roads and infrastructure of the country. It covers 4,041 statutory towns. This campaign aimed to accomplish the vision of the Clean India by 2nd October 2019, the 150th birthday of Mahatma Gandhi National Urban Livelihood Mission. National Urban Livelihood Mission NULM is renamed as Din Dayal Andhya Yojana in DAY NULM or as Rastiya uh, Sahari Ajivika Mission. It was launched under the Ministry of Housing and Urban Poverty Alleviation on 24th September 2013. The scheme extends the coverage to all 4,041 statutory cities and towns. Currently, all the urban poverty allevi alleviating programs covered only 790 towns and cities. Aim of this uh, mission is to reduce poverty and vulnerability of the urban poor households by providing them access to gainful self-employment and skilled vague employment the opportunities resulting in an appreciable improvement in their livelihoods on, on a sustainable basis. Schemes for removing inequality. Pradhan Mantri Ujjala Yojana. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has launched Pradhan Mantri Ujjala Yojana on 1st May 2016 Labor Day at Baria UP by providing cooking gas connection to 10 women. The objective of the scheme is to provide cooking gas connections to 5 million beneficiaries below the poverty line in the next three years till the year 2019. The main objective of this policy are free LPG gas connections in the name of the female members. It will be a cylinder and regulator. The scheme will include the rural and urban BPL family. 1,600 will be sent uh, to Pradhan Mantri Jandhan Yojana banks as subsidies. Nai Manjil scheme. The Pradhan Mantri uh, Pradhan Ma Mantri Naimanjil scheme was launched by the Ministry of Minority Affairs in August 2015. The scheme aims to benefit the minority youths in the age group of 17 to 35 years who are school dropout or educated in the uh, com community uh, education institutions like madrasas. It aims to, uh, at providing them an integrated input of formal education up till class uh, 8 to nine and skill training along with certification this will enable them to seek better employment in the organized sector and equ uh, equipping them with better lives Pradhan Mantri Bharatiya Janoshudhi Pariyojana PM BJP PM BJP was launched on July 21, 2015 under development of pharmaceuticals, Ministry of Chemicals and Fertilizers to make available quality generic medicines at affordable prices to all, especially the poor throughout the country through outlets known as Jan Aushudhi Stores JAS. Under the scheme, the state governments are required to provide space in government's hospital, premises or any other uh, suitable uh, lo locations for the running of the JAS. Under the scheme, over 500 medicines is to be sold through Jan Oshudhi stores at price less than the market price. Private hospitals, NGOs and the other social groups are eligible to open the Jan Oshudhi stores with a online assistance of 2.5 lakh from the central government. This scheme was or originally launched in November 2008 under the name Jan Oshudhi campaign. National urban health mission the union cabinet gave its approval to launch a national urban health mission nuhm as a new submission in may 2013 under the overarching national health mission nhm under the scheme the following proposals have been approved one urban primary health center u PAC for every uh, 50 to 60 th uh, thousands population, one urban community health centers, UCAC for 5 to 6 e UPACS in big cities, one auxiliary nursery midwife, ANM for 10,000 population, one accelerated social health activist, ASA, community link workers for 200 to 500 households. The estimated cost of NUHM for five years period is 22,507 crore with the central government share of you know, 16,955 crore central state funding pattern will be 75 is to 25 except for northern eastern states and other special states of Jambu and Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand.
pattern for women uh, women the funding pattern will be 90 to 10 saksar uh, bharat mission Saksar Bharat was launched on 8 September 2009 as a central sponsor scheme. It, it aims to recast India's national literacy mission to focus on literacy of women, which is expected to increase the literate population by 70 million adults, including 60 million women. It is a scheme for the Department of School, Ed School Education, Ministry of Human Resource Development, Government of India. Raji Vavas Yojana. This scheme was de uh, declared by the President of 4th June 2009. It aims at a slum free India in which every citizen has access to basic facilities. It aims at improving the slum areas and the social amenities. This scheme is not working since 2015. Interest subsidy scheme for housing and urban poor. Under this scheme, interest subsidy of 5% per annum is proposed to be provided to commercial lenders for lending to the EWS economy. Eco economically weak, weak sections and LIG low income group segments of urban areas. The interest subsidy is expected to leverage market funds to flow into housing for the poor. The interest subsidy scheme for housing and urban poor ISHUP seeks to supplement the efforts of the government through the Jahalal Nehru National Urban Rural Mission JNNURM to comprehensively address the housing shortage. Jahalal Nehru National Urban Renewal Mission JNNURM. It was a massive city modernization scheme launched by the Government of India under Ministry of Urban Development. This scheme was officially inaugurated by Prime Minister Manmohan Singh on 3rd December 2005 as a program meant to improve the quality of life and infrastructure in cities. It was success, succeeded by Amrut. Other schemes start of India. It was launched on January 2016, 2016, January 16, 2016 under Ministry of Commerce, uh, Commerce and Industry. Startup India is a flagship scheme which seeks to create a strong ecosystem for re uh, returning, returning innovations and startup in the country with an aim to drive sustainable economic growth and gen uh, generate large-scale employment opportunities. The scheme works on three basic incentives, simple rules, processes and compliance tax uh, shops and funding support sagarmala project the project was launched on july 31 2015 under the ministry of shipping its aim is to transform the existing port into modern world class ports the prime uh, prime objective of the sagarmala project is to promote uh, port led direct and indirect development and to provide infrastructure to transport goods to and from port quickly if efficiently and cost effectively it also includes establishment of rail road linkages with the port ter terminals thus providing last mile connectivity to ports development of linkages with new regions and enhanced multi uh, multi model connectivity including rail in its inland water coastal and road services under this port led development framework government hopes to increase its cargo traffic threefold in next five years, it will benefit around 14% of country's overall population from at least 13 states and union territories. Digital India Mission Digital India program was launched on July 1, 2015. It is an umbrella program that covers multiple government ministers and departments coordinated by the Department of Electronics and Information Technology, DEIT. Digital India program is flagship program of the Government of India with a vision to transform India into a digitally empowered society and knowledge economy. Digital India consists of three core components, development of secure and stable digital infrastructure and delivering government services digitally and universal digital literacy. Smart City Mission SCM SCM was launched on June 25, 2015 under the Ministry of Urban Development for a Duration of five years, FY 2015 to 16 to FY 1920. The campaign was designed by Widen and Kendi. Its main objective is to develop 100 cities all over the country in order to make them citizen friendly and sustainable for living. Under the mission, the NDA government aims to develop 
smart cities equipped with basic infrastructure and offer a good quality of uh, li life uh, through smart solutions maximum number of smart cities are selected from uttar pradesh 13 followed by tamil nadu 12 and maharashtra 10 amrut a m r u t the narendra modi government has renewed the 10 year old jahalal nehru national urban renewal mission J N N U R J N N U R M and named it and after the first bjp prime minister the renewed scheme is known as atal mission for rejuvenation and urban transformation amrut amrut for 500 tier 2 and tier 3 cities was also launched or also with smart city project for amrut as well states have been asked to recommend cities which can be included under this scheme, Uttar Pradesh leads, uh, leads the peak as it can nominate 64 cities under the project. Under this scheme, central government will provide 30% of the overall cost. If the city has a population of more than 10 lakh and 50% if it is under 10 lakh. Social Security Schemes Pradhan Mantri Shuraksa Bhima Yojana Any person between the age age of 18 and 70 years with a saving bank account and other card can join the uh, join the scheme by paying a nominal premium of 12 per year a person is covered covered for a sum of 2 lakh in case of death and 1 lakh for permanent disability the scheme will be a one year cover renewable from uh, year to year this accidental insurance scheme offers accidental death and disability cover pradhan mantri jivan yoti bima yojana the pmjjby is available to two people in age group of 18 to 50 years and having a bank account people who join the scheme before completing 50 years can however continue to have the risk of life cover up to the age of 55 years subject to payment of premium other would be the primary know your customer KYC for the bank account. The characteristics of the scheme are as follows. The premium is 330 per annum. It will be auto debited in one uh, installment. Uh, risk coverage is 2 lakh in case of death uh, for any reason. A person has to opt for the scheme every year. The scheme will be offered by Life Insurance Corporation of India LIC and all other life insurance who are willing to join the scheme and tie up with banks for this purpose soil health card scheme soil health card scheme was launched on february 2019 2015 under ministry of agriculture and family welfare its aim is to help farmers to improve productivity from their farms by letting them know about uh, nutrition and fertilizers requirements for their farms the soil health card studies and reviews the health of soil right from its functional characteristics to water and nutrition content and other biological properties. It also contains corrective measures that a farmer should adopt to obtain a better yield. Beti Bachao Beti Parhao Scheme Prime Minister Narendra Modi launched Beti Bachao Beti Parhao program in Haryana on 22nd January 2015. It is a key scheme that aims to address the dipping child sex ratio and empower the girl child in India. According to the census 2011, the number of females per 1,000 males in Haryana stands at 879. Bollywood, a Bollywood actress Madhuri Dixit is the brand ambassador of this ambitious campaign. The central government has provided initial corpus of 100 crore for this scheme. The Ministry of Women and Child Development MWCD is the nodal agency for the implementation of the scheme. Shukana Samriti Yojana Shukana Samriti Yojana under Beti Bachao Beti Parhao BVVP campaign began in Panipat, Haryana on 22nd January 2015. This scheme encompasses all the girls besides their economic strata can open Shukana Samriti accounts in post offices and in the bank. The aims of Shukana Samriti Yojana are as follows. They must be under the age of 10 years to open account and minimum of 1000 and maximum of 150000 can be deposited annually interest of 9.1% will be accrued to these accounts 
when the girl child attains the age of 18 years she would uh, become eligible to operate the account herself under the scheme for high, uh, higher education the girl child can withdraw 50 percent of the money after reaching age of 18 years heritage city development and augmentation yojana national heritage city development and augmentation yojana was launched on 22nd january 2015 union government has launched a heritage city development and augmentation yojana through the scheme to uh, preserve and rejuvenate, re rejuvenate the rich cultural heritage of the country union government's ambitious 500 crore Hride project was launched by uh, urban and development minister Venkaya naidu in new delhi in the initial phase 12 heritage cities have been identified which will be rejuvenated and developed under Hride. the 12 uh, cities are amritsar varanasi gaya puri ajmer mathura Dwarka, Madami, Belangkani, Kanchipuram, Warangal, and Amravati. Praka, uh, Prakashpath Yojana PM Narendra Modi launched the Prakashpath. This is a national program for LED based home and street lightning. Mission Indra Dhanush The Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare on 25th December 2014 launched Mission Indra Dhanush to achieve full immunization coverage for the for all children by 2020. The mission aims to cover all those children who are either unvaccinated or are partially vaccinated against seven vaccine preventable diseases including diphtheria, whooping cough, tetanus, polio, tuberculosis, measles, and hepatitis B. Pandit Madan Mohan Malviya National Mission Under the 12th five-year plan, the government of India has launched Pandit Madan Mohan Malviya National Mission on Teachers and Teaching PMMM NMTT on 25th December 2014. This mission envisages to address uh, comprehensively all issues related to teachers, teaching, professional development, assessment, and evaluation methodology and effective pedagogy. Make in India program. Make in India program was launched on September 25, 2014 under the Ministry of Commerce and Industry. It aims to encourage multinational as, as well as you know, domestic the companies to manufacture their products in India and create jobs and skills enhancement in 25 major sectors like automobiles, aviation, chemical, biotechnology, defense, manufacturing, electrical, uh, machinery, food processing, etc. The major objective behind the initiative is to focus on job creation and skill enhancement in these major sectors of the economy. The initiative also aims at high quality standards and minimizing the impact on the environment. The initiative hopes to attract capital and technological investment in India. Achievements, uh, achievements made under Make in India, the total foreign direct investment FDI inflow was USD 160.79 billion between April 2014 and March 2017, representing 33% of the cumulative FDI in India since April 2000. India jumped a massive 30 places to 100. World Bank's uh, ease of doing business ranking in 2018. India has achieved a tremendous success in most of the sectors mentioned in the program, mainly in terms of growth rates achieved. So, again, Northeastern Region Urban Development Program (NERUDP). The NERUDP has been taken by uh, taken up by the Ministry of Urban Development (MOUD). With the financial assistance from Asian Development Bank ADB, ADB contribu contribution is 70% of the cost as loan to the Government of India. The scheme is being implemented in the capital cities of five northeastern uh, states with Hagartala, Tripura, Aizol, Mizoram, Gangtok, Sikkim, and Kohima, Nagaland. The project covers priority urban service, uh, services with water supply sewage and sanitation and solid waste management the national urban tra transport policy 2006 the government has formulated a national urban transport policy NUTP in april 2006 aim of this policy is that it uh, envisages a safe affordable quick com uh, comfortable reliable and sustainable urban transport systems establishment of quality focused multi-model public mm, uh, public are transport systems that are well integrated, providing uh, seamless travels across models 
models land uh, use transport integration introducing intelligent transport system for traffic management etc appraisal of urban development policies and schemes in contrast to the early years of development planning today urban issues and concerns do, uh, dominate governmental action and public dis uh, dis uh, discourse appraisal of urban development policies are as follows under pradhan mantri awas yojana urban 80.96 lakh houses were uh, sanctioned and 25.69 lakh houses completed as on 27th may 2019 till june 2019 851 pradhan mantri kaushal kendra pm kks have been allocated 601 the pm kks have already been established ocean uh, avian scheme has been uh, rolled out in all the districts of 36 states utis mass media campaign and information dissemination at grassroots level has been undertaken september 2018 is observed as rashtriya poshan maha aman the government of india has initiated several programs like beti bachao beti padhao bbbp ujjwala scheme poshan abhiyan pradhan mantri matra vandana yojana etc for mainstream women and women and to make women active agents of change in the society other schemes related to rural and urban development Ayushman Bharat National Health Protection Mission Ayushman Bharat National Health Protection Mission AB NHPM was launched on April 14 2018 under Ministry of Health and Family Welfare under Ayushman Bharat the government aimed to set up 1.5 lakh wellness centers by 2022 that will leverage on comprehensive primary health care for preventive promotive and curative care the scheme has the benefit cover 5 lakh per family per year the target beneficiaries of the proposed scheme will be more than 10 crore families belonging to poor and vulnerable population based on secc database ap nh pm will subsume the ongoing centrally sponsored schemes rashtriya swasthya bima yojana rsby and the senior citizen health insurance scheme sc his a udan scheme uran scheme the udan rcs regional connectivity scheme was launched in october 2016 the pm narendra modi has launched the ude desh ka aam nagrik udan scheme from uh, from javrati javrati and airport on the outskirts of simla on 27th april 2017 so as per the modalities of the scheme air air fare for a one hour journey of 500 km has been kept at an all inclusive charge of 2500 the scheme has been launched to provide connectivity to unreserved and under reserved uh, under under served airports of the country through revival of existing air served airports of the country and so and country and through uh, country and so revival of existing air strips and airports first flight under this scheme was on the route of simla to delhi power tech india scheme the union ministry of textile has launched power tech india on 3rd april 2017 a three year comprehensive scheme for power loom sector development The Power Tech India scheme aims to boost common infrastructure and modernization of the power loom sector in the country. Power Tech India scheme com uh, comprises new research and development in the power loom textiles, new markets, branding, subsidies, and welfare schemes for the workers. Components of the scheme are: Pradhan Mantri Credit Scheme (PM) CS for power loom weavers; Solar Energy Scheme (AC) SEC for power looms; In situ upgradation of plant power uh, power looms. group work uh, work set scheme gsw e yarn bank scheme common facility center cfc facilitation it awareness market development and publicity for power loom schemes tech ventures capital fund and grant in aid and uh, modernization and upgradation of power loom service centers pscs rashtriya bayoshri yojana rashtriya bayoshri yojana is a 
a scheme for providing uh, physical aids and assisted living devices for senior citizens biologically uh, belonging to BPL category. It was launched in uh, Nilor, Andhra Pradesh on 1st April 2017. It is the first of its kind center sector scheme, CCS, in India to be fully funded by the central government. Atal Innovation Mission AIM. The Government of India has set up the Atal Innovation Mission AIM in Niti Aayog in 2016. The overarching purpose of this mission is to promote a culture, culture of innovation and entrepreneurship in India. It creates much needed more innovations platform for regist registering both grassroots and deep tech innov innovators at national level. It will help those who are uh, searching for critical innovation for benefits of the economy as well as national social needs. The sub-scheme of AIM include establishing Atal, Atal uh, Tinkering Labs ATLS, and the Atal Incubation Centers AICS for providing scaling, uh, scaling up support to established incubation Centers Uchala Yojana. It was launched by Union Minister for State IC for Power, Coal and Renewable Energy by Pius Goel in Bhopal, Madhya Pradesh on 13 April 2016. The Uchala scheme is being implemented by Energy Efficiency Services Limited e -E 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 -L, a joint venture of PSUS under the Union Ministry of Power. The scheme will help reduce electricity bills of consu consumers, contribute to the energy security of India, and also help in environment protection the main motive of this policy is to promote the energy efficiency in the country consumers can buy the led bulbs from distributors by showing any identification card setu bharatam program this program was launched by prime minister narendra modi on 4th march 2016 at the budget of 102 billion 1.5 billion us dollar with an aim to make all national Highways free of uh, railways crossing by 2019. Under the project, as many as 208 rail over and under bridges, ROBS, RUBS would be constructed at unnamed railway crossing on national highways and 1500 more than British era. Bridges would be widened, established, uh, rehabilitated, uh, uh, or replaced in a phased manner at a cost. 208 billion uh, 3.1 billion US dollar and 300 billion 4.5 uh, 4 billion US dollar respectively 50,000 crore are to, uh, are to be spent to build bridges so for uh, for safe and seamless travel on national highways Ujjala, uh, Ujjal Discom Assurance Yojana UDAY it was launched on November 20, 2015 under Ministry of Finance. The scheme aims to reduce the interest burden, cost of power, power losses in, in distribution sector and improve operational efficiency of DISUMS. It is the financial uh, turn, uh, turn, around the, uh, turn, around the, turn around and revival packages for electricity distribution companies of India, DISCOMS. Initiative by the Government of India with the intent to find a permanent, a permanent solution to the financial mess that the power distribution is in. It allows state government which own the discoms to take over 75% of their debit and payback lenders by selling bonds. Discoms are expected to issue bonds for the remaining 25% of their debit midday meal scheme with a view to enhance enrollment, retention and attendance and simultaneously improving nutritional levels among children. The National Program of Nutritional Support to Primary Education NP, NSPE was launched as a central sponsor scheme on 15 August 1995. At present under the MDM scheme, cooked midday meals are provided to all children attaining classes 1 to uh, 8 in government local body government aided and national the child labor project nclp schools education guarantee scheme egs and alternate innovate innovate innovative education centers madrasas maktabs supported under the ssa across the country are also covered under this program 
The cooked midday meal provides energy content of 450 calories and protein content of 12 gram at primary stage and an energy content of 700 calories and protein content of 20 gram at upper primary 20 gram at upper primary stage.